Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I'm currently reading Mother Tongue by Bill Bryson. Life-wise, I'm slowly but surely packing up all of my stuff to move out of this place and into somewhere new, which should hopefully happen in the next six to eight weeks. I don't know, I don't have a date yet. We will see. And I'm just being productive and shit, you know? Dane reads. Hello everybody, it is fucking boiling. So here in the UK, it's 29 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. 90 something like that maybe 100 I don't know it's hot anyway uh, and it's even hotter in my house than it is outside and I can't have the windows open because the cat because he might escape but uh, also I've been doing the hoovering and the housework and stuff I finished the hoovering what else do I need to do in here to make it landlord ready because I need to give my notice on this place soon uh, I've emailed the guy today who I'm buying from to run some potential dates past him. So if he agrees to those, once he's done that, I need to bring my landlord here and give my notice. Uh, so, oh, what's the date? It is currently Tuesday, the 20th of July. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be looking at moving into the new place at the end of August and moving out of here uh, September the 11th. So yeah, I've been carrying on doing the tidying and the housework. So the hoovering in here is done. The bedroom is officially complete except for my wardrobe and the vinyls and books, which I'll do last. I have under the stairs there to sort. I have Biggie's cat cupboard there to sort. I still have the posters behind the green screen to take down. Um, but then other than that, that's in here done. Porch is done, still need to do the, the garden. In the kitchen, I need to wipe down the insides of all the cupboards, clean the fridge. Um, I've got some drying up to put away over there. Underneath the kitchen sink I need to sort all that. That's got all my cleaning products, but the sink leaks and has done for years, basically since I moved in, because my landlord's shit. So I'm probably just gonna bin most of that stuff um, and not bother cleaning that until I move out because it'll just get messy again because of the leakage. I need to clean the kitchen floor. I've got a box of stuff in the kitchen to sort through as well. Um, then there's the bathroom, so all of that needs doing. I need to clean the toilet, attach a new toilet seat, need to sort Biggie's litter tray, I need to clean the floor, I need to give the shower a bit of a clean, I need to clean the sink. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping by the end of tomorrow, I'll basically have most of the cleaning bits done as much as I can do. I do need to do the further dusting actually as well. Um, but I'll have most of the, that done as much as I can. I can't do any more packing or sorting of stuff until at least Thursday when the bin men come to empty the bins because I've got no space in them. Uh, and so like the garden's gonna have to wait for, until then as well. But basically the idea is I guess if I can get it, not exactly livable because it's not really a livable house, but if I can get it as presentable as possible for when I give my notes to the landlord because he's obviously gonna wanna come round. But like the walls are just knackered. I'm probably gonna say because again, I'll have this period between when I move out of here and when I move into the new place. Um, so I'm probably gonna say I'll use that and I can repaint the walls in here. Uh, and there's a bit in the, there's a bit there and a bit in the bedroom that I can just repaint um, and like a few of the surfaces and stuff, maybe even do the skirting boards because they're kind of knackered. So we'll see what he says to that and maybe we can agree if I do that and give it the best I can as a clean, you know, we'll call it quits or whatever. Anyway, reading wise, I finished reading Mother Tongue by Bill Bryson. This was a four out of five, very good. I've switched over my bedtime book, which is Depression and How to Survive It by Spike Milligan, Anthony Clare. So I'm reading this in my main book. It's a bit outdated, but it's interesting enough, especially as a depression sufferer. Um, I also got this little stack. These are some uh, Aldous Huxley books that I got in the post today. I've read two of them, so two of them are new to me, which is kind of annoying because I'm on 40 unread books and this Milligan would put me down to 39. And then obviously the two new Huxleys are gonna put me back on 41. But uh, hey, I, I'll take that. And it won't take me too long to read as well. Uh, so that's where we're at with reading and stuff. For my next bedtime book, I think I'm gonna read, uh, God, what's it called? Um, Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, I think it is. Uh, it's like a psychology thing. It's quite a dense book, so it's going to be a good bedtime read just to read a little bit of. I've also got here, I've got a thank you card and some vegan sweets to send to Emma from Emma Rosen Books because she put me in touch with the mortgage guy who got me my mortgage. Thank you, Emma. And that's where we're at. As I say, it's fucking boiling, so I don't want to stand in front of the camera and the lights for any longer than I have to. So that's vlog done. I'm going to go do wrap up now. Hello everybody, it is um, Friday the 23rd of July. I have dyed my hair red, as you can see. Came out a lot redder than I was expecting, to be honest. Cat's playing with the tripod, so if the camera falls down, that's why. 
Uh, what have I been up to? Uh, so I finished reading Depression and How to Survive It by Anne Sinclair and Spike Milligan, which I think I probably talked about in my last update. Then I read Shakespeare by Bill Bryson, which I gave a solid 4 out of 5 to, even though it was kind of funny because he was saying throughout, he was like, um, you know, nobody really knows that much about Shakespeare, so it's quite going to be quite a short book. And it was, it was like 200 pages, 1.5 times spacing, but uh, I enjoyed it anyway, 4 out of 5. And I'm now reading Chrome Yellow by Aldous Huxley, which is, I think, his first novel set in uh, England, so that's always interesting. And um, Huxley, I said before, and his like earlier stuff, he reminds me of John Steinbeck a lot. This is almost like John Steinbeck meets Agatha Christie, but without a murder or like a big plot. It's very character driven. And I find that quite amusing. So uh, yeah, lots tabbed out. I will be doing a full review of this coming shortly. In terms of life updates, I've made a little bit more progress with like moving. Uh, I've got some more boxes today from the art center as well. So they've been saving boxes for me. Um, I was, I've been doing art and stuff most of the week to be honest. I have now some editing work come in which is very nice, so I'm going to be working on that. Um, but yeah, mostly been doing art and stuff, uh, we've got this hybrid festival coming soon so I've been helping to set that up. I was at the art centre earlier for a film screening and then I'm going to be going back there tomorrow to work the bar at Jazz in the Garden even though it's going to be indoors. Um, and then Sunday I have a gig with my band for an hour. Uh, we're playing at a pub called The Phoenix, and then after that it's the Sunday Jam at the Arts Centre, so we'll play some tunes at that. Other than that, again, I'm just working and being productive. Now that I've got some work in again, I'm just trying to crack on and get as much of that done as I can. And that is where I'm at. Um, I've edited all of my stuff, I've only got one video left to upload as well, so that's exciting. I've even got a video uploaded that I need to send to Al from uh, Big Hard Books and Classics for a collaboration video, a uh, musical collaboration we're going to do. And uh, yeah, so um, because my editing, I edit while I'm, I edit my videos while I'm doing other stuff, and I've caught up with all of my editing, so I need to film new stuff to edit it. And my cat is going mentally as the zoomies, so I'm gonna go see see him in a minute. Hello, it is me. It is currently 11:03 on Sunday, the 25th of July. I've got a biggie here. Oh, ba 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 ba. Haven't I? Haven't I got a biggie? Yes. Mm. Mm. You smell beautiful. You smell beautiful. You want to go down now? You want to say goodbye to the internet? Goodbye, internet. We're going down now. Oh. So I'm standing, standing slightly further forward than I normally do. In fact, let's move this up the way. I have a bunch of boxes, you see, because I'm in the process of packing my house, and Biggie's using one. Here we go. He's just gone inside. He's using one as his den. He's uh, packing himself. Weirdly, I'm wearing this T-Rex t-shirt and I'm currently watching the movies that made us on Netflix. And they're talking about Jurassic Park, which is kind of cool. Um, Books-wise, I've finished reading Aldous Huxley, Chrome Yellow. This was probably a four out of five, cracking little novel, one of his early, uh, early ones. Then I read issue two of Psycho Grand by David Leach, Comic Capers Cavalcade. This was also a four out of five. This is basically about an insane old lady, you know? <laughs> Who, uh, she's very aggressive. She's like, if you think about like, you know, your action movie stars or whatever, almost a bad guy in some respects, but as an old lady, so it's kind of a lot of fun. I also got this in the post, which is 2012, A Night of Desolation by S.F. Khan. Uh, I'm marking this as red. Basically, I edited this book for a client, and so I just wanted to grab a copy of it. You can actually see, if you've read any of my books, you'll like recognize the interior layout as definitely being one of my books. Um, or at least the book that I've worked on. So yeah, that's very cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I can't really rate it. I'd give it, a rating would be 3.5 out of 5 because that's just my default rating for uh, anything, you know. Um, and I have also started reading Beyond the Mexique Bay by uh, Aldous Huxley, which is travel writing. Not as good as his other stuff so far, but hey ho, I'm glad enough to have been uh, reading it. So. That's where we are with reading. This weekend, um, well obviously today's Sunday, so let's go back to Friday. Friday was movie night at Wickham Art Centre and we screened uh, Barbarella, which was quite good. I don't know to be honest because I didn't really see it because I was behind the bar doing some work as well. Um, but everyone else seemed to enjoy it. Saturday we had uh, Jazz in the Garden except we'd moved it inside so it was Jazz in the Cafe space. And we also had a Landmarks uh, art exhibition in the church, which was very cool. 
Um, not very well attended, but a lot of people are at something called Pen Festival, which is like a nearby music festival, and obviously anyone who's got tickets to that have all gone mad for it because it's the first time they've been able to go to a festival for two years or whatever, you know? So it was a bit quiet, um, but yeah, that was fun. And then today, uh, my band, The Ilk, we had a, a gig at The Phoenix here in High Wycombe, which again, there wasn't many people at, but it was still a good show and gave us a good chance to practice with a full band with drums and bass. Uh, and then it was the Sunday Jam at Wickham Art Centre, which I played at and also worked behind the bar. And now I'm at home, I'm very hot. My heart rate is, oh, I'm only on 99, so that's good. I'm in fat burn mode, but I just, uh, I was getting a little bit anxious earlier, to be honest. And I'm working my way through the uh, different contracts I have to do for my house. There's um, some that I can't finish the details of yet as well. So I'm gonna do, I think there's three that I can send over Possibly four. Is there four? No, I think it is three. There's only three that I can do um, That I can complete fully and send over so I'm sent gonna send those over Tomorrow and then hopefully get the remainder of them through later on this week. So um, At least if I send them the three tomorrow, they can take a look at them and let me know of any problems, you know So there is that um, And I think that's about it. So I'm gonna love you and leave you so as always thanks a lot for watching Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this week's reading vlog Let me know in the comments if you read any of these books hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye